there is a generation in dire need of wellness. When you pick up your stick and trek forward down the path towards global healing, or when you take the easy route and live as a bystander. Hello, my name is Christian Brown. I am excited and honored to be joining you today from Paris, France. I want to thank the entire Gatherverse team and my friend, Christopher Lafayette, for this opportunity to speak with you today on this stage. Today, I will be telling a story. Before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I am currently the co-founder and CEO of a wellness startup named Blemis. Our goal is to empower imperfect people for a better tomorrow. But truly, at my core, I am an African-American male born at the split of generations. Depending on which metric you use, I am both a very young millennial and the first of a new generation called Generation Z. And this classification gives me an interesting yet unique perspective on many different topics. But on this talk, I will address an issue that has deeply affected Generation Z. It's hard to fully articulate the impact that mental illness has had on Gen Z, but statistics alone show that suicide is the leading cause of death within the past few years of this generation. Now, this talk is not going to be just about the, the problem of mental health, because we all know that it's an issue. It's an issue many people struggle with daily, whether it's depression, anxiety, PTSD, bipolar disorder, even low self-esteem, or as some people call it <laughs> comparison syndrome. About one in three adults struggle with one of these issues or an issue that I didn't mention. And my goal here is to simply tell a story. A story of mental wellness as told by one who has seen its harboring effects throughout generations in my family, throughout my community, and within personally. I will end this story by telling you about the mission that I am on to pioneer uh, along a road of removing a stigma placed on mental health and ultimately making it acceptable socially to be vulnerable about your mental wellness. It's my hope that after you watch this, you will be encouraged to join me on this journey towards global healing. This new generation needs your support and more importantly, your entire global family needs your support. This story is one of a man named Abu. Abu lived in Africa during the 19th century. He was born into a loving family rooted in deep tradition. He grew to be a happy man. He loved his family and they loved him back dearly. Abu worked hard daily to provide for them. And he was a simple man. Abu loved what he did, he loved who he was, and ultimately he loved who he was becoming. And then, without warning, Abu lost it all. He was forcefully taken away from his family and demanded to work for little to nothing while enduring inhumane conditions. Abu went from a happy man to a man who questioned his existence. He felt worthless. He felt like he no longer needed to be here on this earth. He was sent from place to place only to endure the same consequences. The only thing that kept him going was a dream that he would one day be reunited with his family, to, to hug his children, to kiss his wife once again. Unfortunately, that day never came. 
but what did come some 200 years later was a descendant of Abu who received a once in a, a once in a lifetime opportunity and this descendant endured a, a very different upbringing than Abu he was not forced away from his family he was not demanded to work in inhumane conditions but still he struggled with similar feelings growing up in a culture where where everyone's lives seemed so public digitally he knew what all of his peers were doing at any time of any day he can see the lives of others he had access to many different people who considered themselves role models both good and bad and this descendant filled his mind with images of how his life should look based on what he saw in media every day he couldn't help but think about how far off his life was from the images that he saw daily on social media this created feelings of shame feelings of worthlessness feelings of feeling like he had no place on this earth. This descendant had a, a desire to live a life that seemed so glamorous. And the desire was so strong that he was willing to do whatever it took, both good and bad. And soon enough, this descendant was able to get a glimpse, glimpse of the lifestyle that was supposed to make him happy. But instead, it led him down a deeper hole, uh, a deeper hole of mental illness. He was struggling and it, he felt judged by the people around him. He felt like something bad would happen to him when, whenever he stepped outside of his doors, he was depressed and he was anxious, but Luckily, he was given the freedom to explore. The freedom to explore the advantage that he had growing up in a generation where technology is easily accessible. He wondered if he could use this technology for good and this curiosity sparked a desire for self-education. He educated himself on relationship building, on self-improvement, on motivation, business, philosophy, and even technology. Through this education, his mind expanded and Soon after that, his environment expanded. He was able to find a, a community, find resources, wise mentors, and professionals who could help him to develop crucial skills, crucial skills to be mentally well. And he was able to have fun while doing it. See, his self-education changed this descendant's life, but first it changed his mindset. And he was now inspired. He was inspired to find a way for others to have a similar transformation and become mentally well. Now that's the end of this story, but this story birthed a, a project that I started last year called Blemish. Blemish is a first of its kind, community driven, virtual wellness ecosystem. Now, what does that mean? I know, basically we are building a safe space in the metaverse for humans from all around the globe to find a positive community insightful resources, wise counsel, um, 
and fun experiences. And we are crazy enough to believe that we can use this precious gift of emerging technology to positively impact the world, not use it for greed or to take advantage of our global family, but instead to empower them. We are coming off of the greatest um, season of mental illness in this, the state of modern history that has ever been recorded. And, um, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this, of this talk, there's, there's a generation that is most at risk for this, this, this crisis of mental illness and ending their lives early. And so I ask you once again, will you check forward down this path towards global healing? Will you help your fellow brothers and sisters after looking within and, and helping yourself or will you stand by and watch? This is a serious question that I, that I posed to you today and it is one that our blemished community asks themselves very often. And you may be wondering, well, I would like to, to make a stand and walk forward down this, this path, but what does that look like? So I'll tell you, one thing that you can do, no matter where you are, no matter what time it is where you are, you can call a friend, you can call a family member, and you can ask them genuinely with sympathy, how are you? It's simple. Ask, is there anything that I can do to help you along the journey? I am here for you. Another thing that you can do is educate yourself on this topic of mental wellness. And as we are still building out our project at Blemish, our, our, we are offering an, an opportunity for those who would like to check forward to join our community and receive weekly reinforcement and weekly education on mental wellness topics. We would love to have you join our community. And you can do that by simply sending me a direct message, whether it be on, on LinkedIn or via email. Um, you can just say that you would like to, to join our community and you're accepting this, this opportunity. Or you can go to www.blemish.com. So there you can put your name and email and we'll begin to send you positive reinforcement. Um, and weekly inspiration and so I want to thank you for taking this time to for watching this this talk today and listening to me speak and I hope to join you again one day along this journey be well and enjoy the remainder of this free spring mental wellness summit from Paris with love signed a descendant of Abu peace and love to you all